Hi kittens, it is Sugar. I decided that I would take the Cosmo quiz and record me taking the quiz and my reactions and responses to the quiz for you guys because there is some whack information <laughs> in this quiz and I don't want women everywhere th like thinking that this is normal. The April issue of Cosmopolitan, this is the April 2014 issue, the quiz is how big is your ovaries? So the first question is, your boyfriend's Gmail tab is open on your laptop. Editor's note, if he has Yahoo, break up with him now. Okay, Yahoo email is a red flag, but that's not a reason to break up with somebody. There should be other things going on. Like, why would you break up with somebody over who their email server is? Seriously. Shallow much? You notice an email from his ex titled Coffee Thursday, you. All right, I'm gonna be honest. You leave your email open up on my computer, I'm going to snoop. I'm going, I'm going to snoop, that's just who I am. I don't care if you're my best friend, my boyfriend, or some random person who happened to use my computer. I don't know why some random person would happen to use my computer, but I'm going to snoop. That's the way it is. Now, I'm not going to try to hack your email or anything like that, but if you leave it open, you're asking for the invite of me looking through your business. So, the question is, you notice an email from his ex titled Coffee Thursday. You, A, say nothing, you shouldn't have been looking at his email. Plus, now you can spend Thursday binge watching Dance Moms. Excuse me? Excuse me. No. B, ask him what his plans are for Thursday. If he makes something up, you know to shift into code freaking red. B is what, the way I would go. I would ask him what his plans are. But do not assume that he's cheating on you with his ex-girlfriend based off of a freaking email. All right, ask him what his plans are. And if you're dating somebody, you usually know whether they're lying to you, uh, whether they're being honest, you can tell how they respond. And if he doesn't come up and tell you right away that he's gonna be seeing his girlfriend for coffee and it's really bothering you, ex-girlfriend, and it's really bothering you, then ask him about it. Be like, hey, you left your email open, I saw this, what's up with that? It could be simply that his ex-girlfriend is like a total freaking crazy stalker and will not leave him alone and he's with you now and he wants nothing to do with her. Y you just don't know. Don't immediately assume that he's cheating. Unless you have other reasons to be suspicious, that's ridiculous. Free dick you less. See, reply is him. Thursday works. There's a dance mom's marathon on, and my girlfriend loves it. It'll get awkward, but no one's a fool. And that's just childish and immature. Two, a family dinner to celebrate your brother's engagement. You plan to share the news of your your promotion, but no one's asked you about work. So it's like, hello. What do you do? Okay, first example. First thing. This is your brother's engagement party. This is not about you. This is not about you. That is rude, 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 and rude, okay? Stop trying to always make yourself the center of attention. This is your brother's engagement party. You should be supportive of him and his fiance. This is a party for them, not you. They say, A, pour yourself another Chardonnay and fight back a single tear he found everlasting love, but your promotion doesn't need a big hoopla. Seriously, get the F over yourself. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. B is wait for a long conversation and say, well, actually, I have some news too, if you're still feeling celebratory. That is the way to do it. It's, it's respectful to your brother and, and future sister-in-law. It's respectful to your family. And, you, you know, if you're so excited that you can't just contain yourself, then that's, that's the way to do it. Um, C, get a flaming candle and a dessert. And ask the staff to sing Roar when your family asks what's up. Yo, do not ignore my triumphs. Drama queen much. Three, after a huge work meeting, you land in the elevator with the CEO and his cronies. He's taking up your project, but assigning all credit to your boss. Not cool, you. A, remain silent, mentally repeat your work mantra, three, two, one, one, two, three, the fax machine is the place for me, what the F? What the F? Who writes this shit? Seriously. B, 
Thank him for noticing your labor of love and say you love to run more ideas by him in the executive dining room. You're not picky. So B is the way to go. But again, there's a way to do it and there's a way not to do it. This, you know, oh, Cosmo. For example, you know, he's talking about the project, he's all excited about it, and he'd be like, I'm so glad you're excited about this project. I spent the last three months working on this. I did this, this, and this. I'm so excited. You do not want to rat out your boss for taking credit. You do not want to do that because that's your boss and that makes you look like a bitch. I said it, it makes you look like a bitch. What you want to do is talk positively about the things that you contributed and that you're so excited that he is excited about this project and that you've all spent a lot of time and energy on it and that you specifically did these things so that you look like a team player. One, you look like a team player. And two, it lets him know what you did on the project. So if those are the things that he likes, then he will attribute those things to you. Don't even get me started. And C, oh God, and option C on this quiz? Oy vey, oy, motherfucking A. Announce that you ran the project and request a meeting to discuss a promotion. In the movie's version, Bay's Girls is playing. Seriously? Seriously. The Diva Award goes to, like, what the F? This is a good way to get fired. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna lose your job? Go ahead. Wanna be known as a, as, a, as a diva and a hard person to work with and a non-team player and get fired again? Get fired? Do that. I, I don't know what reality Cosmo is living on, but do not take this advice. Seriously. Seriously. Don't. Number four, you've been dating a guy for a month and you have yet to reach orgasm. Excuse me? You've been dating a guy for a month. You know, it's a new relationship. Maybe you're getting down and diggy with it. What, six times in a month? Anywhere from 10 to six times. You know, if you're really crazy, it's been all 30 days. But that's a little extreme. So, I mean, if hey, go you, but really. The first two times you let that shit slide. The first two times. If you don't get off the first two times, you let it slide. The third time, you tell him what he needs to do to get you off. Don't just lay there like a cold freaking fish and expect him to read your mind. No, just, just no. Cosmo, what the hell? What the hell are you teaching women nowadays? This is not cool. This is not cool. If you're sexually active, you should know what you need to get there. That's, that's, and all you need to do is tell the guy, if he's having sex with you, he wants to have you orgasm. He wants you to orgasm. That's what he wants. He, he doesn't want to just orgasm and, and have you be unsatisfied. And if you are sleeping with somebody like that, then knock it the fuck off. And the options that Cosmo gives. The options. A. Let it go. You consider having a steady boyfriend to be a greater pleasure than actually feeling anything down below. Seriously? What the fuck? What is this, 1942? Like, then they have option B. Ask him if he wants to buy you a new vibe. Hint, yours has gotten a lot of use lately. That's a great way to open the conversation, but that's also a really kind of, you could easily say, hey, you know, when we do business, I would like you to do A, B, C, and D. And when you're in the middle of doing business, say, hey, I want you to do A, B, C, and D. And if A, B, and C, and D is what gets you to scream your little head off, then he will remember to do A, B, C, and D from then on. This is not rocket science. Communicate with your partner. Communicate with your partner. If you're having lousy sex and you're not communicating with your partner, this is your fault. Period. And I don't feel sorry for you because I get mine. Because I tell my guy what I want and how I want it every time. C. Halt foreplay and show him a diagram of the female anatomy with the clitoris circled in red. Tell him to study up. There will be a quiz. What the fuck? 
get dumped, be single and lonely and never orgasm ever again. And you, you won't have a job either. And, and your, your brother will hate you and your sister-in-law will hate you. And, and you will be watching Dance Moms if you listen to Cosmo's advice. Oh, and don't get me started on the last one. Number five. You live with your boyfriend, but any real conversation about getting engaged makes him clam up. You're nervous, he's never gonna commit, so you. Cosmo is supposed to be about independent, strong women. Not little bitchy girls who think that getting married is the most important thing. If you're in a happy, committed relationship, that, and when the time is right, the time is right. Option A, give it six months, download Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, and repeatedly design your own bring it to beers are you that shallow that the only thing that you really want is a big fancy party for you and a ring why don't you just throw a party for yourself and buy yourself a ring because you're gonna be lonely and jobless and never orgasm give him an ultimatum he proposes in three months or it's over never give your man an ultimatum do you enjoy ultimatums I'm sorry, but if anybody gives me an ultimatum, I'm usually like, fuck you, I'm gone. Talk to people. Talk to your partner. Communicate. Everything in this quiz is all, it, it could all be easily handled with honest, respectful communication. Number C is propose to him your damn self. It was a good tactic for Monica and friends. It's good enough for you. You know what? If you really want to marry him and do it, ask him. Why not? If it's that important to you, ask him. And if he really loves you, he'll say yeah. But I mean, wedding, getting married isn't that big of a deal, okay? It's really not. And Cosmo, I'm just really, really disappointed in you. And, and you know what's really funny? I, I, I just realized this two seconds ago. They have Rihanna as the image for this quiz. I, this is not someone I would choose as someone who has big ovaries as as they like to say there are so many other people in hollywood that would make a great feminist icon for that article and riri is not one of them cosmo i'm disappointed in you i really am i really am chloe kardashian on the cover would have been a better choice. So I hope you like this. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, if you want me to start doing this every month where I take the Cosmo quiz and vent and <laughs> give you my reaction for the quiz, I will totally do that every month. I'll start making this a monthly video. I'm also thinking about doing the Cosmo sex advice, giving my reaction on, on that as well. Uh, because I think a lot of the information in Cosmo is wrong. <laughs> a lot of women read this magazine. I think it is misinformative to a lot of women and I love Cosmo I love the fashion and I love a lot of the articles but there's a lot of stuff in here that is just whack I think there's a lot of impressionable young women that think it's that, that that's the way you should behave and, and act and and that's just not the case I hope you guys enjoy this talk to you guys later bye